So yes, the prodigal son returns. Um, for those of you that have been with the channel for a while, you might remember this car, one identical to it, in the shop. Um, this actually was one of the very first vehicles that I bought when I really started collecting heavily. Uh, it's probably been about, I don't know, it was, it was probably right around the time I started the channel, so maybe seven, eight years ago, something like that. And I remember I was doing research on cars and I wanted to buy something and I wanted something with a supercharger and naturally the GT500 came up. Started doing a lot of research on the GT500, watching videos and everything like that. That's how I got turned on to JD Joyride TV and he and I have since talked and compared notes and we chat back and forth on um, Instagram every so often. But um, I really wanted a GT500. And I remember thinking, well, there was a 07 to 09, which is 500 horse. There's the 10 through 12, which is 550 horse. And then of course, 13 and 14 was out at the time. And it was like 662 horse. I remember thinking, ah, I don't really need that much horsepower. 500 horsepower is fine. I just wanted the supercharger or wine. My how times have changed. Now, yeah, I want the 662 horsepower, of course. But I have to say, I really think that this body style is my favorite overall of all the GT500s, including the newest one uh, that's like, what, 760 horse or whatever it is. But um, I had a car identical to this, is what I'm trying to say. Long, roundabout way. I'm trying to tell you, I had a car identical, same color and everything. It was an 07, this is an 09. Um, I think that one had like 25,000 original miles. This has 36,000 original miles. And it was pretty stock when I got my 07. And I ended up like putting rims and tires on it. I ended up um, lowering it a little bit, same as this one has been lowered. And I uh, ended up doing some exhaust work, a pulley, uh, cold air intake, a tune. And it made a very respectable 545 rear wheel horsepower. It moved, it was a lot of fun. And part of me kind of regretted getting rid of it, but I ended up trading it for another vehicle and have moved since through a lot of different vehicles afterwards. But I kind of regretted getting rid of it. So when this came up as a trade offer for my Coronet, which I did get some money on top of this vehicle, so don't be alarmed, but I had to kind of laugh because I'm thinking it's almost the identical car. And when it got here and actually I took it around the block, I was like, wow, I kind of miss this car actually quite a bit. Um, so, you know, I'm not gonna walk you guys around the car. There's really not a lot to see. It is what it is. You saw in the opening shots as far as just kind of the outside and inside and everything like that. It's very clean, very nice, everything works. Um, so I think we'll just like do a cold start, hop in it and go for a ride. the car is amazingly dusty right now we had a lot of wind the other day followed by some rain which sell the dust but still I've got to get in the shop here probably in the next couple of days and rearrange things um, I'm just kind of figuring out everything that I want to sell as far as my memorabilia and I'm gonna put it in one spot and then start listing it and then just kind of spread the cars out I also want to get ready for cars and coffee which I'm hoping to do in the month of March but um, enough about that back to this car so this car, like I, I've only had it maybe a couple of weeks. I've taken it around the block like twice. So still pretty new to me. But these cars, even by today's standards, are respectable. 500 horse, I mean, it's like almost a 4,000 pound car, so it's not a lightweight, but it, it moves out really nicely. Of course, I'm very tempted to put my own touches on it. And I was thinking about, you know, like aftermarket supercharger, throttle body, different fuel system. Of course, then I'd want to do different rims and tires. Nothing against these rims and tires, but they're just not really my cup of tea. And I really, I think this car needs like 19s or even 20s, which surprises me. I usually don't like 20s on anything, but I think they would work very well on this car. Um, and then of course, like the stereo, I'd want to put like a Bluetooth unit in it and kind of set that up. But I don't know if I want to put that much money into this car. Um, I've thought about it. Um, currently, I do have it on Facebook Marketplace for sale. I want 30 grand for this car, and I'm not negotiable. I've had offers right up to it, 
just no one's willing to pull the trigger yet but it's only been on for about three days i don't mind keeping this car i don't mind keeping this car at all and even just driving it the way it is sell it in six months or a year i'm good with it it's kind of cool to be back into a gt500 especially basically the same identical car i had before it's cool so it's not going to hurt my feelings if it doesn't sell but if someone comes along with 30 grand in the next couple of days and it's going to have to be really soon i'll let it go so that being said let's see here we definitely got temperature we got fuel i think we're going to have a clear road so you guys know what that means yeah we got a clear road gets it I mean even for stock she gets up and runs really really nicely so yeah and I mean I think these things stock dyno somewhere in the neighborhood of around 450 horse honestly I think they were probably a little underrated for the time um, one thing about this car is I do think that the clutch has been replaced at some point because it's stiffer than I remember my 07 being and another thing I can say about this car is the stock stereo in this one is much better than the stereo I had in my 07. I don't know what the difference is. I know this one doesn't have a subwoofer. My 07 did have a subwoofer. Hopefully that's not hitting the mic. But um, I'm not sure what the whole situation on that is, but the stereo is definitely a better sounding stereo than the one in my 07. So long story short is I like this car. I really like it a lot. It won't hurt my feelings if it ends up staying. It's fun, it rips, it's got a great supercharger sound. And if I were inclined, I could probably even do a pulley and a few little odds and ends to it and definitely make some more horsepower out of it if I really wanted to. But I would have to put some stickier tires on the back. Um, it is a little cold out today, but um, still, they just spin. Another thing I would do would be get rid of the louvers in the back. Um, I don't like the louvers, I mean, it's never been that. I'm a big fan of that. I would probably tent the windows, but again it's just really how much do i want to get into this car how much do i want to do this car and i don't know i might i'm probably smarter just to enjoy it the way it is the right person is going to come along for it they'll want to buy it i'll sell it and move on to something else or maybe it'll be time to move and i won't move on to something else until i actually move out of state so anyway um tell me what you guys think um kind of like revisiting the past for me so let me know what your thoughts are how you feel about it and always as always as always always as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, P.O. Box Instagram in the description below. Guys, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.